Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Patch Tuesday is back, and if you're still having nightmares from last month where a lot went wrong, and then it went wrong again, and then some more stuff. Uh, the good news, February's looking a lot, lot friendlier. It's a nice little Valentine's Day gift for us. It's a total of 51 patches. Uh, vulnerabilities were patched. That's not not uh, the lowest you've seen, but it's not the worst. But the incredible part is not none of them are actively exploited, and there's only one that's publicly known at release. This might be the easiest go and or lightest patch Tuesday uh, I've, been, I've seen since I started doing uh, blogs and videos on this. Uh, but let's kind of dive into some of the highlights and lowlights. First, we'll cover the one where when they say it's not critical, they are technically correct, the best kind of correct. Uh, what this is is a Windows DNS remote code execution vulnerability, which all oh, that sounds pretty bad, right? It's DNS. It can be hit over the network, a remote code. It does require a little bit of privileges, but there's no user interaction. Uh, but what it does take is it has to have dynamic updates turned on uh, for this to be a threat, which I'm going to guess most environments have. But since that is not on by default, they have labeled this as important, not critical. So... He like said, technically correct, the best kind of correct, no critical patches this month. Uh, some of the other ones that we have is this uh, Windows kernel elevation. This is the one that is publicly known. Uh, it requires local, but the, the reason why this one's rated so low, I believe it's a 7.8 out of 10, is the attack complexity is high. It requires a lot of pre-work and groundwork laid before anything can be done with this one. So the reason I just did talk about uh, this one, even though for the Windows kernel it could be bad, the complexity is so so high up there to get there that it's not really uh, rated that critical. And then the last one that we're going to cover is the SharePoint one. This one is also rated an 8.8, .8, which is, I'm sorry, I guess I should have said that the uh, DNS one is 8.8, .8, but this is the second 8.8. .8. It's the only two that we had uh, over, I believe, 8.1 were, were these two. And what this is, is on SharePoint servers, you can run, uh, I, I believe, as, as a a service account that is the SharePoint Windows application service that gives you some abilities to uh, mess with SharePoint and, and add some things that you might not be wanting there. Uh, this is another one that even though it's 8.8, .8, not listed as critical. And uh, th that's kind of it. Uh, earlier in the month, before Patch Tuesday, there was a Chromium update. What was bad enough, the CISA set, a, set an update on that one. So if you haven't updated your Chrome or any Chromium-based browsers, do that now. But as far as this one goes, I mean, there's nothing... Nothing world-ending, uh, if we're going to continue to pretend that the DNS one is not not critical. Uh, still, it's important to get patched. Now that these are out there, people know they're out there. It means people are going to start looking at stuff. So send it to your lab, get patched, get yourself protected, and uh, use PDQ deploy and inventory. Just put it on a schedule. We'll do it for you. If you like this video, so you have more information on uh, Windows updates, like more information on Windows updates, please hit like and subscribe. For PDQ.com, I'm Jordan. Oh, I got your thumbnail post. And now for my uh, customary thumbnail pose.